Hi all. So today we'll be working completely on user table, like understanding who are users. And I want to highlight this. Some of you are uh, like found my pace to be a little fast. So I'll adjust to that. But please alert me if you uh, feel like I'm going fast. Uh, that would uh, really help me to know. Okay. Uh, but don't worry. I'll go a little slow. One minute, I'm unable to see navigator buttons and all. My screen is visible, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, hope all of you have your own PDIs, right? Or anyone want any assistance in creating new PDI? Uh, guys, let me know if you have anything to help. I'm here to help you. Uh, but please create a PDI. It is very important. Okay, and see we are on the home page of our ServiceNow PDI. Here you will be able to see a profile icon. So what this profile icon tells us like who has logged in, what is the username of that logged in person, okay, what is the first name, last name. So when I just click here on the profile, I'll be able to see, see first name. Uh, don't worry, these are the fields that appear only on my screen because I have enabled extension. Uh, I'll also be helping with that information too. So here system is the first name, admin is the last name, business phone, like what is the contact uh, number of this user, mobile number of this user, what was the title that has been provided to this user, what is a mail address to contact this user, which date format or uh, time zone that he follows. So this information, we can see it on the user table. Okay. And this is also considered as a sensitive information because we have our mobile phone information as well as what is our title or a designation, a mail address and a contact number. Along with that, you will also have a location field. Okay, but we are on a different view here. What is view? View is like something. Uh, it restricts user from accessing all the fields on the form. Based on your role, view will appear for the users. Okay, so uh, we'll be working on that part. Don't worry. So for today, we'll be understanding who are users. So before jumping into that, users and service now. Okay, I'll try to uh, explain you something about users from the documentation that we have. See, uh, as I told you, product documentation is very important. So this is also a right place to gain some more knowledge about the concepts that you are looking to understand. <coughs> uh, it is just logging in. You need not to re-enter your credentials. It will directly redirect you to the product documentation page. As we are looking for users, you'll have information related to users. Uh, so guys, uh, is it fine or you want me to go a little more slow? Uh, like Lakshmi, uh, Naveen, Rashik, uh, Malik, uh, Ashok. You are good. Uh, you are good, Shreya. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Okay, so what is this user account records? User ac records establish a relationship between individual and your service now instance. User record consists of username, password, information related to individuals such as contact information, location, job title. So usually uh, there will be a record for 
uh, storing certain information that belongs to users that is called as a user information usually user form looks like this where we have a user id uh, i'll talk about this user id guys this is something very important field i have to highlight as this also works as a primary identifier in this form what is this primary identifier that means something has to be unique for each and every record right we have 10 satyas in a uh, class but how do i identify i'm looking for m satya might be with the surname might be with their contact number might be with the parent information right these things that actually uh, help me in differentiating the data Likewise, usually we have a sys ID. Apart from that, the first field of this form, which is user ID, which is also important for us to understand for each and every user, unique uh, user ID is given. Okay, apart from that, first name, last name together gives you full name. You can also have a field called full name on the form. Title is nothing but what is a designation. For example, if someone asks ask me what, what is your designation, I'll say it like senior developer. Likewise, uh, each of us has our own designation. So again, if I just show you this on the form, it's a suggestion box. Okay, and coming to department, this is something like into which department are you working? Are you into human resource? Are you into IT or are you into technical help desk? Whatever it is. Okay, you will have options to select here and you will also enable more options here for others users to select their department. Okay, and password needs reset. What does this? So let me open the user form from here. So that will be more easy. See guys, to navigate to users, you just have to type users on the left navigator. Scroll complete down. You will be finding user administration. See, initially it will be little tricky for you to remember these names. But with practice, you will definitely do it and you will be loving this job. Okay. So when you type user administration, just select users. Okay. So all the time, remember, you either can type users on the left navigator and scroll it to your user table or else you have a backend name. What is this backend name? That nothing but a name that is provided by the system. Okay. So you can take the name of the table from the url as well as it is available here as i told you i have enabled some extension to my web browser okay so this is another way you can refresh your instance just paste it back a name and add list to it what is this list that means all the user records are represented in a form of a list and we are trying to explore that list and if i just uh, show you we have 638 records okay all of them are dummy records but in your real time you may have a uh, live data or the uh, real time data of users who work for your organization or the users who work for your clients it could be anything but this table is treated as a sensitive table because it have all the sensitive information of users the personal data their uh, official uh, email addresses everything is listed in this table okay so when i open user table i can see okay 638 records are there but I have a way to create a user record from here. So this is called a UI button. Uh, you can just click on this new button. I'll close another tab. Both are seems to be same. Okay. So here I can clearly see I'm on user table. The backend name of the table is sys underscore user. And coming here, we have a user ID, first name, last name, title. Uh, to the table name will always visible in url we can yes shushil uh, table name is always visible in url uh, you can track on what table you are surfing in uh, from the url it will be more easy for you to understand uh, i'll again highlight this uh, all the time in service now it helps us to understand on what table we are looking at and is it a form or a list this particular highlight whatever i'm highlighting will let you know that okay so i'm sorry will this be visible to end user as well end users with specific roles can only see this back end view 
okay uh, not every user will have access to service now back end view based on the rules they carry on their profile they are able to access features on the service now okay it is designed in this format and will be understanding all those practices okay coming here uh, shushil if you don't mind i am in a flow let me complete this and i'll answer your queries So in department, if you see, this is a suggestion box. What is the suggestion box? We have a options to select. That means choice list. Instead of choices, we call them as a pick list. This is similar to the choices we have. Okay, you can also go and add your own options here in the pick list. Apart from that, we have a lookup icon. What does this lookup icon? Wherever you see this magnifying glass, that directly tells you that we are referring some other table and pulling the data from that table and placing it here. Is it clear, guys? Hello? Yes, yes. Yes, yes yeah. yeah, I'm not uh, going very fast, right? Yeah. Okay. So uh, from this department table, actually, uh, when I just click here, uh, you can understand we are on CMN department list. And from here, you can select any table, uh, like any record, sorry. I can select IT and IT will be populated. And uh, whenever I see this I button, this is for previewing that particular record. I have selected IT. I want to know who is the department head for IT, what is the code for IT, what is the primary contact for uh, uh, information technology department, what is the description of this field i can also open record from here this is a shortcut for you okay apart from that password location as i told you there is a field called location based on your user you can populate a location again this redirects you to cmn underscore location okay we have some listed locations and if you just expand them you'll have more locations under north america you have so many and uh, south america you'll have so many options so based on our requirement will be selecting and adding this information okay uh, manually you will not be creating more of user records in real time but this is also possible that they ask you to create a record that's the reason how it works how it gets stored everything we have to understand okay coming to password needs reset that means every user account will have a account will have a, a pdi account and they need a password for it so uh, unfortunately user has forgotten his password then how he can reset it okay what is this log dot for example uh, we have a sham here who is going to uh, switch his company uh, on 9th of November. So by 8th of November, all his service accounts will be disabled. What does mean disabled here? That means his account will be set to log out and his account will be inactive. Okay, whenever this field is checked, we treat it as a active true. That means this account is live. This account is uh, true. Okay, but when it is unchecked, that means he will not be able to access the profile. And web service access only. I'm sorry, I'm just muting someone here. Okay, web service access only. What is this web service access? Is? Usually whenever you're performing any integrations and all, you will be loading some information from any third party methods. Okay, uh, it could be web services also. And these are also called as service accounts. Internal integration user. If you're performing any integration steps, you need integration user role and this checkbox has to be enabled. Okay, and coming to manager, every user need to have a manager and why this manager field is important, I tell you. For example, I'm placing a request for MacBook Air. Okay, whenever uh, I raise a request for MacBook Air, it triggers a approval notification to my manager. That means my manager will get to know that Shreya needs this MacBook Air for her work and has a part of a, a complimentary gadgets that they assign to employees, he can approve it based on my designation. If I doesn't belong to that level, 
it may get rejected okay likewise and also to report anything to the higher authorities we need a manager for every user and that manager information is been uh, specified here and if i just highlight here it is also a lookup field or reference field or a magnifying glass field whenever you just click here it redirects you to the user table again you are getting it because all the user information is stored in user table here you can select any user and you can make that user has a manager for this uh, newly created user and coming to email this is very important because whenever a technical team or service desk or your hr or manager it could be anyone to reach out to you uh, they they first try to mail you uh, they'll draft a mail for that they need your mail address and coming to languages like what all languages user can understand for example we deal with global users who work for germany or england and they can understand only german spanish something like this then how do we understand this person can understand so on languages there will be options like uh, german english and user will be picking up according to his preference and coming to outlook uh, is nothing but a calendar integration here that means uh, all his schedule that has been uh, created for that particular day is been tracked here on the calendar integration. I have a call at 10 to 11. I cannot inform every person who is trying to contact me. So they will try to check my calendar and schedule the meeting as per my calendar. So they can also check it on the Outlook. They can also check it on the uh, gmail if it has been added as a calendar integration with gmail and time zone so each of our clients would be from different time zones so they can select like if it is canada atlantic they can go with that time zone okay and date format uh, has we all have a ddmm yy this is something we indians use it but when it comes to any other clients from different parts of world they'll be using either year in the beginning or month again in the beginning or some of them again go with date month year so according to their preference again they choose the date format and coming to business phone uh, where you can uh, actually uh, provide your contact information and mobile phone information and also you can add your own image here okay so now you have a clarity what a user table uh, has user information and what the user record contains is it clear hello yes is it clear i have a query can i ask mm -hmm. yes is it there actually this is the starting class right demo class mm -hmm. uh, no actually we completed demo class and how to create this developer instance is also been covered in yesterday's class so may okay. i know your name sorry ashok yeah ashok uh, so i'll do one thing i'll give you recordings you can watch it and if you have any questions i'll be there for you to help then this is a second class right second uh... yes okay 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 uh, fine uh, you just missed two classes don't worry if time permits uh, we can connect anytime and i'll be helping your queries okay yes yes sure so so to others is it fine or i'm little fast or how it is actually uh yeah i have a question can i ask now yes shushil i'm sorry uh i'm in a flow that's yeah. the reason i just stopped you no no that's fine uh yeah i was just on this topic only so we were discussing okay. groups right we saw groups. no 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 i didn't uh, discuss about groups yet groups, okay. it takes time uh firstly everyone has to be comfortable with the uh, user user record creation uh i'll take it slow okay, so okay, see, okay, i cannot yeah, jump okay, uh, okay, topics yeah yeah so others uh like lakshmi malikarjuna naveen rashik uh, ramakrishna uh shushil or tejashvi yeah, uh, uh, like any concerns regarding the piece or the uh, i'm a bit faster or this modulation is fine so i can adjust my modulation guys if I'm able to understand. I'm okay, Shreya, I understand. Okay, that's nice. Uh, so now, uh, I'm sorry, I have closed this. So uh, here, 
let's create one user record let's try to understand how this works how it gets stored so type users on your left navigator scroll complete down as i told you under user administration we have a user records and we have 638 and when i just create one more record it has to reflect as 639 okay here let's give like uh shayansh okay dot snow okay snow is the short name of service now so i'll give shayansh last name as i'll just give it like yes i don't want to fill anything here uh and on the pickup list, uh, nothing but a suggestion box. You have various options, like 12 options are there. You can always see at the end of the page how many records are there. So IT technician will select. And coming to department, uh, for example, he belongs to IT, so department would be IT again. And coming to location, we'll give some Florida or something to him. Okay, I'll just give like Americas, but if you want to expand this also, you have an option. Like in North America, you can select Virginia, that is also fine. Okay, and coming here, we'll add a manager to Shayansh. Uh, let's go Alfansu as a manager. Uh, and we'll give some random dummy mail I'm providing, but in real time, you'll have your official mail listed here on this particular field. Okay. Let's save this record. And uh, let me set time zone to US Eastern. And okay, business phone. I'm randomly entering some dummy data, guys. These are all default. I didn't. Uh, create them uh, okay mm. no user minute. has to select it right uh, how it will be coming yeah creating a user record here uh, every user would be from different time zone and every user may have a different date format so those choice options are available you have to create it okay because see you are from uh, Kolkata but your client is from China you'll have a time zone difference you cannot uh, populate with Kolkata's uh, time zone, right? You got it? Uh, coming here, see this profile is active now. So if I just go and refresh my instance, okay? And when I just go to user table again, just to make it more comfortable, I'll be using sys underscore user dot less. This is a backend name of the table. So in this way also, we can open user record. If you see 639 users and we have a field called created on the form. So just by uh, just click here, you will be seeing two sorts, A to Z, Z to A. What is this A to Z? That means the records that are created in the past it could be one year ago it could be nine years ago it could be 13 years ago those records will be displayed on the top and the latest will be displayed at the end when we use the sort a to z see if i just show you it is 13 years ago record it is 11 years ago record but when i scroll complete down and here i'm able to see 15 records out of 639 records i have to go to next page to see the 16th the record okay likewise we have uh see 16 to 30 records are displayed in this page number two if i just want to go to last page you can just click here okay you are on 625 to 639 records and if i just come here you can see uh this is also showing but let me sort it so Based on alphabetic order, also it is showing you the information because uh, here we are on, oh, I'm sorry, we are on 15th page only. Let me go back to 699, 639 page. See what I have created today, uh, like in this month, 17 days ago, three minutes ago, we have created Shreyan Snow. Okay. And uh, this was just three minutes ago. This was 17 days ago. This was 17 days ago. 
this was three months ago and likewise if i just come back to previous page the latest information is displayed at the bottom but i don't want like this i want to see latest information on the top and past information in the bottom then i can sort it vice versa which is z to a z is a latest information that populates see i can see three months three minutes ago 14 days ago okay and when i open this record I'm able to see all the information and let's add some random image for now and what file types are supported in service now we have to know okay jpg png bmp gif jpeg ico svg what are this these are the different image formats we have and this are all supported in service now okay if something is in you can also convert that particular image and you can add it here for example we have a food related images let's add some food image see and if i want to update the image in future you can just click here on update and you can do that see you have to choose the file again and if you want to delete it just click on delete the image will be deleted okay and coming down i'll show you linked account see view list of third party accounts this user has okay that means if user is working on any other integration and he has a different account for this uh, integration management you can view what are his another accounts he have and view subscriptions subscriptions are nothing but how we have a subscription of youtube and netflix likewise here we have a subscription model uh, and we'll be sharing some more information about it so once you subscribe to certain uh, concepts you may have additional access to those uh, features and all so you can view what all subscriptions this user have reset a password this is also something very important so let me just save the record uh, i didn't add anything more here saving and update these are similar things but they are little different okay uh, so for example we'll set a password to this user how we can set a password you have a option here like a ui button is created and when you just scroll down you can find a button again here in service now everywhere you'll be finding these three buttons like update set password delete that means not update set password delete the buttons are always on the top as well as they are available at the bottom just for our convenience service now has designed in this way if you are working on some other table you may have a submit button you may have an update button follow button again those are available here you got it coming to reset a password even from related links you can reset a password firstly to set a password you just have to click here and in older versions we used to manually set a password but as technology is growing everything is automated so you can just click here on generate system will generate a password for you you can just click here to see what is a password if you want to copy it you can copy the password if you want to generate some other password you can just keep on generating i feel comfortable to have a short length password so just copy this save the password so let me paste it somewhere and once i save the password see password needs reset this is auto enabled by system and let's update it on the url itself i'm removing rest of the information Okay, I'll just go back to my user list. So, sys underscore user underscore list. This is the shortcut. Instead of going to LF Navigator and all, you can also uh, use your URL to navigate to other tables. See, this is the user ID. What I'll do with the user ID and password, I'll show you. You can also copy and paste it in a notepad that is also fine now what i'm going to do i'll going to log out from this profile now i'll give shreyan's username and the password that system has given if you just paste that password whatever we have copied make sure no spaces are given because if spaces are this system understand it has a string and here what all languages user can understand you are listed out here okay and just click on login see 
you have to paste the current password which we have copied apart from that to reset a password you have to meet this criteria what is this minimum eight characters maximum 100 characters one lower case one upper case one digit one special character no repetition of three character no sequence of three characters no user data like first name last name username company name okay so here just set your new password So you can also copy paste the password. Otherwise, you can also type the same. As this is meeting all the criteria that they have specified, I'll be using this password in common. But you can have your own password. Now I am into Shreya's profile. Are you able to see guys? But everything is grayed out here apart, day, apart from date and time zone. I can only edit date and time zone. Um, why? I am on a self-service view. But if I try to go to default view, is that possible? No. Because this user doesn't hold a uh, required roles like ITIL or admin or some other ITSM roles on his profile so he is treated as a end user or a self service user where his access on service now is very limited even if you go to his left navigator if i just collapse this like uh, i if i see only almost 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 uh, menus are only available for him and when i just expand this under self service i can see few uh, modules again when I just go to incidents not even all incidents information I'll have see uh, because we didn't create any record but if I just create a record so you can just click here on new see create an incident record to report and request assistance with an issue you are having request assistance with an issue you are having an incident record will be created and managed through successful resolution. You will be notified of progress. That means what is the urgency of your issue? You, are, you can specify this is a mandatory field and this is also mandatory field. Without filling these fields, if you try to submit also system doesn't allow you. It will generate some error message saying that following mandatory fields are not filled. Please describe your issue below. Unable to connect to office network. Something like this I'm giving. And just click on submit. Okay. What are the search results? These are nothing but a KB articles. I have to say we'll be talking about them. And if you see or notice this incident form, which we were talking about is different from what we are talking now. Because it is same. The form is same. But only the fields that you are able to see on this form are very limited. Okay, I can see the number field. I don't have access. See, whenever you see this uh, stop icon, that means uh, it is a grayed out field or a read only field open. At what time it is open? If it is closed, at what time it is closed, the system will update this information. Urgency is to state is new. Okay, and uh, this is my short description. And I just have uh, additional comments to write whatever issue I'm facing. I can just uh, type here and People who are assigned to my case will be able to see these comments. And coming to activity stream, who is the caller? What is the category it is under? What type of uh, method he has used? Self-service is nothing but either from portal or from uh, native UI with no roles on his profile. User is trying to raise a request. And the impact is three low. Incident state is new. Opened by Shreyansh. And the priority will be calculated based on your impact and urgency selection. And that's the reason it is being set to four low. And everything is happened and this time you can also see this information here. For example, hi, technical team, please fix the issue at the soon as possible. So like this, he'll write a comments. Now, when I just uh, come back or just click on the logo, and when I again go type incidents on his profile, I can see only self-service views. 
self service view that is nothing but a menu and here i can see his instant whatever he has typed and what was the communication that was happening i can read okay he has a very limited roles even if you just click here on his profile you can see manage your client certificates register client certificates if he have any third party accounts he can view change a password view identity center and uh, sn utils is a extension i have added so this is a uh, of, uh, extension which i enabled explicitly on my web browser so with that it will show you the version information so i can just update for example i will make it date month year and i can just change it to some europe paris and update it only these two fields are editable for me now if i log out and come back to my profile okay if i type my username and a password i'll be back into admin profile okay previously i have given username as shreyansh oh i'm sorry uh let me log in back so uh, i'm on my profile but i have more accesses i have something more to edit and uh, create on the forms because roles plays a important uh, vital uh, importance is given for roles and groups along with the users okay and when i just scroll here see i have more number of menus and modules guys is it clear you can see the difference between person having admin role and person having just self service role nothing but a no role at all on his profile yes if yeah even for admin you can just click here on profile and set a password you can also just click here generate the password so for today you have to create a user record set a password uh, and uh, try to log in into profile explore what all that user can see okay and coming to uh, admin account try to log in back into admin account uh, if i just open incident module from here you can see self service incidents are available service desk incidents are available and a dedicated menu modules are available for incidents and this is visible only because i have those required rights on my profile and when i just click on create new i'll have more fields on the form and when i just uh, open any existing record so i'll be taking you to the new and let me open any existing record here if i just click here on the three lines i have a option to change the view and if i just change it to okay this is called a header banner wherever you see this gray space just give a right click you will have all this option now if i just go to self service view see this was the view that uh, shreyansh snow was able to see you got it he was able to see only number field has a admin i am able to edit it but it was also restricted for him opened by closed sorry opened it closed uh, were edited were grayed out actually urgency was editable for him state also was editable or not i didn't check that but you can also achieve search requirement using some scripts we can write some a client script or something and we can also make the fields editable or grayed out that is very simple and see uh, i have opened some random record let me just go back to incident list just type incident dot list that will take you to the all the incidents that are there on the table see i'm on self service view but let's go back to default view this is the standard view and if i just go to this created field okay this is a gear icon or a personalized icon you will have all the fields that are there on this table and selected are nothing but which are displayed on the screen okay i have a created field let me just align it to the top you have a up arrow and down arrow here add arrow and remove arrow 
okay if you want to add any field to the list you can simply select it add it to the list if you don't want it just push it to the list okay now created field where it is yeah so just click on okay now if i just click on z2a you are able to see the incident which was created by shreyansh is visible on my list see unable to contact connect to office network and please fix the issue at the soon as possible this were the comments i wrote and if i write something in the additional comments customer visible that means user can see only those comments and when something is need to be exchanged between internal teams we write work notes so uh, even from here if you just click and open the record you can see all the information about shreyansh okay the, he can understand english this is his date format this is his contact number okay his account is active when someone says okay uh, let me just show you this uh, okay i don't want to confuse you on the day one itself so i'll take it little slow so if this user id is inactive we cannot do impersonation what is impersonation that is another concept we have i'll be discussing about it uh, most likely once you are comfortable with user roles groups what are the best practices again to add a role to a user we'll be covering all this uh, aspects later we'll be working on impersonating a user and everything and apart from that i just want to highlight this sys id what is sys id system will generate a unique id whenever you are going to create any new record or a new field or a new form it is for everything service now creates this it is purely generated by system it is a 32 bit string which is having a, a 16 pairs of hexadecimal values 16 pairs are nothing but 32 bit characters what is this hexadecimal values combination of alphabets and numerics are called as hexadecimal values and what type of alphabets are accepted a to f 0 to 9 numerics with this combination system will generate this and using the sys id you can also open your record on the user table so let me just go back and see i'll show you some shortcut here uh, we have a history and if you just see here we were surfing shreyansh uh, record we've been to incident list two minutes ago you can track everything so you can also just click on users so from here it will directly redirect you to the user table okay history will help you to track what was your past action okay here we have a a uh, funnel icon this is to add filters so just come here and add sys id is and paste whatever the sys id that you have copied from this url apart uh, you have another way to copy just give a right click on the header banner copy sys id even system will copy the sys id just run this see you will be able to see shrayan snow record uh, let me go back and see here you can also whenever you see this uh, uh, the field which is in blue in color with a link it is a hyperlink you when you just click here that redirects you to that user record okay apart from that if i want to see shreyan's manager information who is alfonso i can just click here i can see okay alfonso's user id is this he can understand uh, english and his uh, calendar is integrated with outlook and his manager is on andrew his account is active and what type of rules he have i can see okay 53 rules are there he belongs to one group okay what is this delegation subscription everything will understand okay for that uh, we'll connect tomorrow again uh, at 9 a.m uh, i'll be trying to help you some uh, information here And we were uh, talking about ITL framework yesterday. So we'll try to cover that. Now, uh, each one of you have an idea what is a user 
record, right? User is nothing but if I'm working for a company called IBM, my information has to be stored in one particular place. So they will be creating a record for myself and storing this in the user table. Likewise, for all the employees who work for IBM and likewise for all the partners who also support for IBM, their user information is stored. And the clients, uh, for example, IBM have some one lakh plus clients. And again, this one lakh plus clients may have a user's uh, like each client may have a again 10,000 users so all their information is also stored in a client user table they may create a custom table for storing this information or if the client want it to be available on the user table they will just uh, integrate it with our user table so uh, this is actually storing of user information okay uh, now you got it how these things are related we'll be talking about related records groups delegations subscriptions okay uh, what is the system and guest user will be uh, going through this okay this is something very important for you to understand mm, just give me a minute meantime any questions from anyone hello I think no for now. Okay. Let me share my screen. Uh, Navin, sorry, you have mentioned yes here. Uh, so all of you are comfortable accessing this, like uh, I'll paste this uh, link again in the chat. Once you have enrolled into the course, you'll be added to a group where I can share all the documents. And uh, meantime, you'll get a recordings from a team. And yesterday, we just stopped here, ITIL, okay? What is this ITIL? ITIL is a framework, guys, that defines certain norms and rules. For example, uh, uh, like, let me take example here. Whenever... Uh, you purchase a new mobile, what you do, you take care of certain uh, things like uh, you keep it more safe, you add some screen guard, you add, uh, you put some case for it. Apart from that, you'll also take care of data that you store. You will be more uh, concerned about your device. So you'll follow all the sa safety standards, right? Likewise, when some new software comes into market, they'll also want to follow certain rules here. Okay, and they have certain norms you cannot skip. For example, if you have purchased a new mobile to install it, when you just operate it for the first time, it will ask you whether to link with your Gmail, whether to uh, have some backup files. Uh, if you want to erase everything, just want to have a new device, you skip everything and do it. Likewise, here we have certain rules and regulations to follow. So that is how ITL is important and most of the tools like not only service now the big competitors of service now are also uh, following this itl principles we call that like a best practices of information technology infrastructure library version for other latest uh, version that is available in itl and those rules and norms that we follow Okay, so ITL stands for Information Technology Infrastructure Library. Even if you hold an ITL certification, that is like something, uh, a very big achievement that you can showcase on your uh, social media profiles. Okay, uh, contains procedures, tasks, processes, checklist that are not necessarily specific to organization or technology but are still capable towards many organization strategies by delivering value and maintaining the competency okay so actually how this ITL has taken uh, uh, like how this uh, ITL concepts are introduced into ServiceNow and what is the reason ServiceNow was taken birth in the market. We have a specific reason here, UK government, okay, when there were so many technical errors happening within their particular software system, they decided to have a technical software that resolves uh, 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 issues, whatever the 
team is facing on their own instead of reaching out to someone else they decided to have their own software to resolve this bugs or issues that their technical team is facing okay this is how actually uk government services came up with the concepts of itil in it industry to avoid basic errors or service desk related issues uh, to resolve them using the technology implementation okay that is why service now is also called as a ticketing tool but apart from ticketing system there is a vast uh, uh, implementation to do vast development development access to perform okay to avoid the basic errors in IT industry and to meet the standards of business operation for the clients. Uh, it has a best practices of ITSM concepts. What is this ITSM concepts? Majorly concentrates on catalog system, which is the backbone of ITSM, guys. You will be learning this ITSM uh, in three parts, like majorly into incident management, problem management, knowledge management, change management. Again, something into more automated like catalogs. Uh, another into uh, concepts of integration and reporting all the uh, methods. So here it is majorly concentrates on catalogs. Catalogs are like a backbone. I don't have any other word. Without catalog system, ITSM couldn't survive in market. Okay, so again, catalogs are subdivided into three, which are catalog items, record producers, order guides. So we'll be learning each one of them with a very good examples. Uh, and coming to the catalogs and knowledge management, incident management, problem management, change management. These are also uh, very important for managing your services. Okay, coming to ITL lifecycle, uh, it has some strategy, like we'll pick some strategy, we'll design it. Design is nothing but a planning phase. Transition, like each plan should have a transition. It will start with begin, it moves to next step, it moves to third step, it again have a loop of transition phases and it ends. Okay, so uh, if we start in a day, we'll have a breakfast, we have a lunch, we have a snack, we have a dinner. Likewise, likewise how we trans, uh, have different transition of uh, uh, eating food habits, likewise system also have designed in that pattern. I use this uh, examples, don't worry. If you are uncomfortable, let me know so that others who are very new to system, like uh, the service now system can easily uh, understand. That's the reason I give some, uh, I link it to real time examples. Service now operations. Operations is nothing but where the maintenance support is taken care and continual service improvements. That means uh, here all the time, let it be any sort of business. Okay, even IT run on business. We have a clients, we exchange the data, we uh, create whatever the working model user or our client refers to. We establish a business and a, a relationship here. So that continual improvements has to be there. And the crucial importance is given for the customers. And coming to advantages of ITIL, reduces the IT operations cost, improves the productivity and employee satisfaction and the customer satisfaction, and establishes a cost-effective practices, builds a stable environment that allows for growth, scale, and change, assist with managing risk, disruptions, and failure, strengthen customer relationship by delivering efficient services that, they, that meet their needs. Okay. And coming to V4 is a framework designed to standardize for selection, planning, delivery, maintenance, overall life cycle of IT services within a business like integration. Like if you are integrating some two, three uh, third party applications with service now, how the records have been entered into our service now table that has to have a planning, delivery, maintenance, everything has to be taken care, right? Likewise, the latest version of ITL integrates with ITSM methods, uh, mostly like lean, this is a development tool, DevOps is a tool, agile is a methodology which we use, and uh, Zira is also a very big competitors for service now. Customers are treated crucial part of the value of organization. Let it be any type of business. Customers are the, um, something that are very important and when you value your customer your business grows service value system as we as we say flexibility and communications are also big part of this itil and having this itil 
and also this service now is a pass and sas application all together making your service now application to be a most user friendly application to work with less number of lines of code is been increased and they follow the precedence 65 to 70 percent is given for tool configurations that means i can create a user profile just by opening user table and i can do it it's not necessary for me to write a script here and 30 percent weightage is given for script operations coming to script these are again divided into two server side logics client side logics the apis are everything in scripts okay API on server side is different. API on client side is different. API is nothing but an application programming interface. Here, JavaScript APIs, libraries, methods are used. And to understand that, I will also definitely help you with certain courses and certain sites and URLs from where you can actually learn JavaScript for free. But dedicatedly, you have to spend at least half an hour in a day for JavaScript, one hour to practice whatever we are discussing in our class. By end of this course, you will be confident enough to gain a knowledge that is equivalent to four to five years who is working in real time as a service now, admin as well as a developer. Is it clear? Hello? Yes, so yes. I'll, I'll close it for today and we'll be talking about all this tomorrow uh, and uh, tomorrow at 9 we'll have a class yeah I'll, if any questions from anyone uh, Shreya uh, Tejashree this, this side I yes. have only one question I mean apart from this class I mean I'm good with the class I mean mm -hmm. I have it out like uh, I mean yesterday you have mentioned like the free campaign is going on for the CSA certification right yes. I mean how to I mean how to do that I mean how to register for that I mean what are the needs to be completed requirements for it see actually you have to create a now uh, learning account and okay. uh, I'll give you that link. I have to recheck where this campaigning is going on. I have checked okay. in in few sites. So I'll share you that link and just enroll into that course. Okay. Uh, where okay. you have to watch the recordings. Uh, you'll have a videos and all that is purely okay. provided by service now for each and every concept. Okay? okay. Once you complete this, there will be a bar percentage like 100%. If you complete it, they'll generate a voucher for you. And from oh. the day it is being generated, they'll calculate it for one year. Okay. So if it is generated on 11th of now, uh, like yeah, 11th of November this year, next year by 10th of November, it it uh, the validity will be there. Okay. I mean, uh, till the validity, I mean, ne till next year, we can write the exam any yes. period. Any, any period you can write. But see, you have to be very confident with all the concepts of ITSM uh, once okay. you are appearing for CSA. Okay, it is not oh. a very simple exam, not a complex exam. But to crack okay. the exam, definitely you need to have that skill set. Okay, first we need to complete the learnings to get the voucher, correct? Okay? Yes, learning and get the voucher and uh, keep that voucher. Like you can access your now learning platform anytime and that voucher is available there. Okay, okay, got it. Uh, first we have to register in the service now learnings, right? Now learning, now learning. Now learning now is learning. a dedicated... Uh, uh, website for managing all your learning skills. Okay, okay, got got you. Thank yeah, you, yeah. thank you, Priya. That's okay. That's a useful information you have asked. Actually, it helps yeah. others to know. I appreciate mm -hmm. such interactions, guys. See, Anusha, Lakshmi. I know some of you are very new to technology, but don't panic. We are here to learn. Uh, nothing uh, we can learn without interacting, right? Even in real time, you have to talk to your manager or elites when you are not comfortable. Make sure that you are doing in this course, you are trying to adapt that quality also. Ash Ashok, uh, Efra, Lakshmi, Malik. I don't know your wife name, Malik. Naveen, Rashik, uh, Ramakrishna, Shushil, Tejashvi, Yashishvi. Any questions? I'm happy to assist. We can discuss for next five minutes. Uh, one question, Shreya, on the user that we created today, right? Mm -hmm. yes. So the users are at the global level, is it? No, on the Not global. Not the application. Uh, see, 
we are creating the user and this is available on my instance i'm if it it, it won't be available on your instance you're getting it no, because yeah are... i mean uh, yeah at your instance only i mean mm. uh, if say they, they, uh, in an organization we have two departments right so if if we are What creating departments? some say finance department and uh, uh, uh you'll have a multi departments department. i cannot say only two departments yeah yeah, okay. yeah i yeah. mean two departments is in like a yeah, multi department hmm. uh and i'm we are creating uh two applications like one one set for accounts one set for finance no user so record will user... be common because global, the user right? okay. yes yeah. it will be global yeah. and it is available for all the departments but again hmm. uh, for example we have a uh, persons in uh, finance departments like only 10 people can view all the records and see mm. all the data okay others are restricted you got it why because okay. we cannot allow them to see the sensitive information and how this 10 users are able to see they may hold a higher designation and they are the head of that department only such people have given uh, access to view and change any information on the records Okay, got it. So first, we will create the users, and when we create the application, then we will map the restrictions and all later. Uh, okay. usually mapping everything will be taken care by any of the integration methods. Okay, being okay. into IT as some concepts, you will be looking into the account. Is it active or inactive? If someone complains to you that I'm unable to log in, you'll cross check what uh what is happening on his profile. What is the history that he has modified? When he was last logged in? Okay, okay. such things will be cross verifying, and we'll be. trying to uh, help the user in such scenarios okay okay got it yeah uh, so uh, lakshmi uh, you have any questions are you comfortable with the pace guys again i want to highlight this but no i have no questions raya um, i didn't uh, create pdf i will create uh, uh, by, by next class also uh, if any questions came i will ask you sure definitely but uh, make sure you are working on your pdf every day okay sure 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 this is for everyone here you will uh, remember the remember the things in long run okay when someone says yeah. okay in user id there will be a reset password where you will have it under related link so once you practice it you will remember it right yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, sure. Uh, whatever completed our classes, uh, like we will get that uh, uh, recorded. recorded videos, right? Yes, yes. If you can collect it from the team. Yeah. yeah, you'll get it from the team. Any questions? I will check in that. Uh, uh, I, I will listen again. I will re that recorded. Yes, video. yes. And this point also, I want to highlight. Uh, if you enroll today itself, uh, we can continue classes from tomorrow. Like who are been already enrolled can join the classes tomorrow. But has we completed the third class? By today, so Harsha trainings will only host three classes, and this is something uh, really they are doing it. But I don't see many other consultancies even give three classes. Okay, after demo they have to enroll. So um, I have to see positive count and people over there. I wish I see all the thirteen members in uh, in our next class. So this is a heads up to each and every one here. Uh. Sure. Sure. And uh, I think everyone are comfortable Monday to Saturday nine a.m. Yes. 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 Yes.